Having done completing the square to get a factored form, we're now in the position where we can actually solve because we've got a single x position now. We can actually now manipulate this so that we can actually solve an equation where this equals zero. So let's take the six x plus four squared minus 15 is equal to zero. Take the 15 to the other side and divide by six. So it's adding 15 to both sides and then divide by six. And that's going to give me uh, five over two. Take the square root of both sides. So we've got x plus four is the square, uh, same as the square root of five over two. And when we do the square root, remember, there's two numbers. There's the positive and the negative version. This is important. This is why we get two answers. And then we can subtract 4 from both sides, and we get two numbers. We get minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And if you use a calculator, remember, most of the exams ask for three significant figures in our answers. Uh, so 5 over 2, the square root of that number is uh, 1.581. So but minus 4, plus or minus 1.581. Do keep this ac more accurate than the three significant figures in your final answer. So minus 4 minus 1.5 is a minus 5.58. Or when I add that to it, so we're going to minus 4, and we get a minus 2.42. There was a 1.8 on the end of this. Okay, so make sure you do round appropriately. Okay, so that's how you can solve an equation using completing the square.